This here's Clint, and this is Jim Bob, and right now we're here at the Whiskey Drinker Studio. We got a very special guest we're gonna bring on. Oh yeah. Now we couldn't get him to come in here because he lives in a different place, so we had some issues with that. So we decided we're just gonna do a little video chat with him. That's right. So this uh, this young fella can be found on a TV show called The Outsiders. That's As right. you know, we do a uh, our own little thing called Talking Outside. That's right. A little after show type thing. And when could they watch The Outsiders? They can watch that Tuesday nights at 9 o'clock. That's right. Don't miss it. God damn it. Don't miss it. WPGN or something. I think so. WPN, WGN. Best damn show out there. Yeah, it's on Channel 12 on uh, Comcast. Now, uh, pe people were wondering at home, who is this guest that we have? Well, let's get to him. Let's get to him. Without no further ado, we give to you... Hey, what's going hey. on? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're good here. Okay, yeah. Uh, we already gave the introduction, so everybody knows you're about to be joined with us here. We said, you couldn't, you, said you couldn't fly in here because you had some other shit going on. But, well, you're... Uh, I can't even get into it. You're out there. You said the weather's nice. It's a bunch of bullshit because it's snowing here right oh, now. Oh, man. It's damn ridiculous. On that balcony? <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this started here. All right. Mr. Barry. Yes, gentlemen. Yes, gentlemen. World renowned actor. Um, I don't know. What, what do you want to say? I mean, damn. It's not well, too often we have somebody of your status in our studio. You've been in a well, lot. Oh, go ahead now. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying I, I'm here uh, to answer some questions. You guys, uh, even your guests seem pretty cool. You know, I'm, I'm always down to, you know, jaw and hang out with the uh, good people who appreciate good film. Oh, yeah. Know, so. Good people. He must not know us. <laughs> he must not. <laughs> anyway. Well, I mean, like, good is, is subjective. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll take the word on it. All right, so uh, please tell the people who you are and where you're from. Well, I'm Barry Hacking. I'm originally from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Go Steelers. Uh, and um, I lived in New York City for a little while. I lived in uh, L.A. for the last about uh, eight years. Just got married in December, and um, life is good. Oh, yeah. Wow, congratulations. Now, you've been Thank in you. a couple movies also that uh, mm -hmm. are pretty cool movies. Could you tell us uh, maybe some of those? Well, um, yeah, if, uh, if uh, you see my catalog, um, I mean, some of the more recognizable ones, of course, are uh, Dogma, Adventureland, um, Smart People, and, um, you know, so I also got to work on some really uh, fun B-movies, like with uh, Cameron Romero, George Romero's son, you know, and uh, he was always cool with me, this is the Pittsburgh connection right oh, there for you. But, uh, you know, I, I enjoy doing both. I do, I love big caliber stuff, and I love, like, the... Really fun, like low budget horror films too. You know, so. Oh yeah. If you had to pick one, what would be your choice? Big money um, or doing it for the fun? I mean, I mean, come on, man, big money. So <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be front or anything like that. But uh, you know, you got to pay the bills. I got uh, two little step kids and a new wife. So you oh, know, I I'd, I'd pick big money, but I I'd make sure it was a good production. You know, I'd make sure it was something, you know, that I liked, that I believed in, that you know, it was something that you know. Uh, spoke to my fan base and stuff like that. Because you have integrity. I, I got a little bit. I, it's, <laughs> it's left over, left over from my twenties. But yeah, uh, I got some. Now I've been trying to tell Jim Bob here that the the character you play is Butch. Yes, sir. That, that is just a character, and you don't really sell drugs. He keeps telling me he's like, "Hey, as soon as we get buried on it, I'm buying some drugs off." I was gonna try. I'm like Jim Bob. It's just a character. Yeah. I mean, I've done my research, man. I mean, you know, it's uh, like uh, legalization is is hitting pretty hard um, throughout the country. Uh, like, I think, well, like, you know, like 90% of uh, young adults have tried weed at least like once in their life, you know. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much become a, a common nomenclature in, you know, it's, it's a co comic relief aspect, I think, too, also of the... Um, you know, of the storyline and Outsiders. It's kind of like no. Cheech and Chong-ish, but, yes, you know, yeah. it brings a little level of, like, oh, yeah, there's that stunner guy again, <laughs> you know. Oh, so. yeah, with a uh, girlfriend that might be a man. Yeah. Uh, is, well, you know, cool. what was, was. Was, was a man. Uh, <laughs> was yeah. a man. She, 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 she is not any, any longer. Oh. Uh, oh, so it's a full-blown conversion, then. And well, she is my sweet lady. Yes, she is. Um, sexy. Uh, and we are uh, going to get us... Uh, a child and get married, hopefully. 
Oh, you yeah. So it's kind of like when I you take a V6 it. and you put in a V8, you know. I guess, yeah. yeah. I guess, yeah. I mean, if you want to call it that, man, I mean, there's a lot of interpretations for it. But, uh, you know, I, I grew up with a, uh, and went to school with a lot of uh, performing arts people. And um, I, you know, a lot of uh, gay friends of mine uh, are now trans. And so, like, it's, uh, it wasn't a big, uh, it wasn't a big thing for me to step into. Um, because I know a lot of people like that. And, uh, you know. Well, it's interesting they wrote that character into there, too. I thought it was an interesting uh, dynamic. I mean, because if you look at it right now, especially, like, you have Cellian and Hassel, and you have Frida and Butch, and within those four people, you have, like, a crazy cross-section of social dynamics. Oh, yes. You know, you, you have the drug dealer, you have the, you know, you know transgender girlfriend, you have the uh, biracial couple living in Kentucky, you know, which is, like, not often, places. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say friendly to that, but, um, you know, it's it's not a common thing. Yeah. It's uh, it's less common than, like, in L.A. here, so. Yeah, well, yeah. the nice thing is, is in today's day and age, it's not as taboo as it once was. No, 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 that's that, that's the cool thing, but, um, you know, it's it's like you have all these, uh, like, like you said, we are the outsiders. We are the people on the outside of uh, society right now. Um, you know, not just you know, not just up on the mountain, but uh, you know, in the city too. There's outsiders. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The parallel. <clears throat> it's like yep. a parallel universe. <laughs> it is in a way. Well, it is. Is it is in a little bit. You know. So, uh, how did you by chance get the role, Butch? Well, um, it's a funny story. Uh, and uh, I told this to a couple friends of mine, and I will always uh, be thankful and grateful to my buddy. Uh, Dave, uh, we call him Bam Bam. He's a big old biker guy. Um, he lived in my building at the time when I was living in Venice Beach. Uh, and he basically, one day I said, I, I got the I got the audition and I, I was in between paychecks. It just paid rent and rent out here isn't cheap. And uh, I couldn't hump it out to uh, Bur uh, Burbank uh, to, you know, go to the audition. And I had a Soleil bike frame, and I said, hey, man, if I give you the Soleil bike frame, it's worth 80 bucks, can you drive me to Burbank and back from Venice Beach? And he's like, yeah, sure. Jeez. So I said, thank you very much. And I dressed up like, uh, you know, I had a uh, really cool outfit on, and I got the call back, and I went into Sony. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, brought in a, a bottle of uh, a mason jar of fake moonshine. Um because my friend Renee, she was making uh, vegan salads, and she delivered them to your door in uh, big, <laughs> big, you know, mason jars. And I had so I had some left over, so I put a B fifty two vitamin complex powder in with the water, shook it up, and I rolled into Sony with a bottle of fake moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, you know, uh, and Johnny Cash giving the finger, uh, cut off shirt, cut off jeans. I had a cool hat on. That a friend of mine from Texas had left over is like a trucker hat, and it had a chick's butt that says "Suns Out, Buns Out." Nice. Yeah, so that I was think Jimbo had that hat while back. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting story. I, I want let, let me jump yeah. through here real quick. Uh, we saw your um, audition for New York Heartbeat. Yeah, that was amazing because it shows. Oh, thank you. I, I think maybe you get typecasted in certain ways as a certain type of person. When I think it's the hair, man. <laughs> it might be, but I think yeah. your acting range is uh, tremendous. I think you can pull you. off Thank a you. lot of stuff. I I I, uh, I have a lot of people calling me uh, James Cagney. Come back, but um, to, <laughs> the, it's it's interesting you mentioned the New York Heartbeat thing to get myself prepped for that. You know that was uh, 2010. Worked with a lot of great people, a lot of great actors. Charles Gradanis uh, was the director, and he was uh, the creator of the story. He's Dutch. And, uh, you know, he did all his research. He didn't like it. And even Eric Roberts said that it seemed like, you know, someone who lived in uh, New York City wrote this, not some, you know, guy from, you know, uh, not from New York City, basically. <laughs> and so uh, I did, um, I started doing uh, the, the dialogue, like, you know, like, we started messing around with the 50s thing. Like, hey, guys, what's going on? What are you doing? I'm okay. Hey, what's, what's going oh, that's, on? So we started going on colloquialisms and stuff like that, but... There wasn't enough dialogue in it to like really flush it out, so I started doing Shakespeare monologues in the Brooklyn accent. 
Wow. Like, he's but self, well, like, Rihanna, when the breaks, it is the East, and Juliet is the son of Rice, his son, and Kill the Envious, you know, so, like, it would break out, like, different plosives and different things like that for me in the dialogue, so I would take the dialogue out of, you know, its comfortable context and, you know. Damn, that just, is amazing. Uh, <laughs> just rock it out. You are amazing. Uh, I would have watched yeah, a couple you, movies and tried to remember their lines. That's about it. <laughs> Damn. I can, hey, man, I... I get I get the script sometimes like the first day like you know I get five pages and I get to look at it and you know it's it's, it's it comes with the training you know what I mean oh yeah yeah we ain't got the memory yeah. for that <laughs> we're not that <laughs> talented but jeez wow. I'm 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 surprised I still got mine man but I'm telling you it is it is kind of like uh, I can liken it to uh, martial arts and stuff like that you know when you uh, go into you don't even think about it you just like repeat it and repeat it and repeat it so you have like a muscle memory or a sense memory for it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like a brain memory. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like a brain memory, like you guys don't have. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be from that, uh, that marriage of one or something. It might be. It might be. It, it, happens. <laughs> it happens every once in a while, but I don't, don't, don't play with drugs, man. Don't play with drugs. That's a good, that's good. And we <laughs> always tell the kids, don't mess with drugs. That's why we stick with this right here. That's right. Yeah, yep. a little drink a drink. Oh, uh, two yep. drugs. The, uh, when you're smoking the drugs on the show, are those prop drugs? I imagine they are. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're, it's uh, I think it's something called uh, Colts Huff. And let me tell you a funny story, man. Um, Colts Huff. It, it's either Colts Huff or some kind of fake, you know, uh, weed you can get in. Um, I think that K5? like online, it's actually worse for you than real weed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so I was, I, I was. Uh, doing these scenes and I have to fucking fill up these bongs, you know, <laughs> like in between scenes, like, and make sure it's like, you know, there's mad smoke in here. So I'm like, just pulling tubes. And, uh, like the taste of the, the weed, the fake weed was in my mouth and Eve was feeding me bacon. You know, Frida <laughs> was feeding me bacon and it lingered with the taste of the fake weed. So that, that I almost gave up bacon. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Oh, man, that's an atrocity. <laughs> that is. That I is. know. That's what I'm saying. You know, so, uh, yeah, but it was, it was uh, normally, like, in Adventureland and stuff like that, we smoked um, uh, cold tough, and that was a bronchial remedy from the Native Americans, and it's supposed to, like, expand your lungs, actually, rather than, like, constrict them like segs do and stuff. Yeah. You know? So what about that's... Butch now? Is there any backstory to him? Like, where did he come from? Well, you know, I mean, Butch has been, um, I don't, uh, necessarily think he is from the, uh, the area. I think he's probably, uh, gotten into some trouble a little bit earlier on. And, uh, he came to a place to capitalize on a situation that, uh, wasn't really, uh, too relevant, you know? Yep. I think he, he saw, he saw the coal miner thing. And uh, you see this happen in a lot of towns, if you guys are familiar with this, like, you know, the fracking companies and stuff like that and whatnot. Um, when the jobs move in, you know, all that other stuff moves in. It's like the Old West, you know, when, when, they, when they struck silver, when they struck gold, the, uh, you know, the, the saloons would come in, the whorehouses would come in and stuff like that. And then booze would come in and dresses and stuff like that, like in Tombstone, you know. But, uh, like, it, I think Butch probably came along with the... Uh, the possibility to work and was trying to set himself up and uh, and did um i don't think he's a, a black black drug original uh probably from in and around the area though you know oh yeah he seems like he could be a you know, pittsburgh native such as yourself he could be uh I yeah mean, i wouldn't go, i wouldn't go that far i, I mean we are far. from we we have our roots in western pa ourselves so cool we're right pretty on, sure right that we might have known some people like that yeah, I mean, I, I think there are, there are some people. He might have been in a bigger city or something and had to go on the run. He probably, I, I, I would, I'd play him from, like, a little deeper south, you know, a little bit uh, more of a slower draw, you know what I mean, if I can. And uh, I think, uh, you know, without going too in-depth into characterization, you know, he, he's, he's, he's probably been bouncing around a little bit. And, uh, you know, now he's, he, he likes where he is. Now, I, I want to say real quick, you started off in a movie as a little kid beating people up with hockey sticks, <laughs> and now you're sitting here, a legitimate actor who thinks deep into his roles, and I, I think that's really inspiring to somebody that's come from around the oh. same area. 
you're saying he wasn't a legitimate actor as a kid? Well, you were, ba- you were legitimate beating them up. Gosh, Jimbo, <laughs> give him some respect. <laughs> I believed it. I'm just Damn. saying. This this is a real actor right here, and I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. I pre- you know, I, I do appreciate that from all the fans, too, not only yourself, man. Um, it's taken a while, um, but, you know, I, I got this quote uh, on the fridge. Uh, it's, like, it's from Winston Churchill. It says, never, 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 never give up. Yes. So you always gotta if you if you want something if you're in it for for life you're in it for life you know. I agree. Got a lot, I guess, with the music and with the yep, we're never gonna stop. I appreciate no, that. Not. That's good advice. No sir, no sir, no sir. You can't. You, you, I mean, if you want it, you go. You gotta go for it, and you know, you gotta build up your foundations. You gotta build up your networks, and you can't take. I mean, I go out for like you know 100 auditions. I get 10 of them, yeah. maybe if I'm lucky, you know. Dang. It's kind of like women. You hit on women, not all of them are going to like you, yeah, but yeah, one true. might like you. That's true. You got yeah. that comes back But you face. can't stop. I can't, well, you know, I can't, I mean, like, I can't talk about that. I mean, I, I, I fortunately, I found the uh, the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Yes. And, you know, my wife, Ashley, Laura, Hackney, um, or Ashley Center Hackney, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just ecstatic right now. And I, we've been doing a lot of uh, work together. And um, she's my uh, wife uh, slash manager, and uh, we got a name for her. We call her the Wanager. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me something. Be truthful. So, is she behind you right now with a gun? No, she is not. <laughs> okay, then you got yourself a keeper. Yeah. Yep, and congratulations <laughs> on that, too. No, 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 man. I, she, she, she's the best. She's one of the uh, kindest, sweetest people I've ever met in my life. And, uh, yeah, you know, she's, she's just an awesome person. That's great. That's awesome. So, uh, is there anything coming up in the future? Any new projects? Well, um, I'm working with a, uh, a couple guys from my hometown right now, and we're trying to get a project off um, off the ground called Shadows. I can't go too much into it, but it's a uh, it's getting you know low budget horror film, but it's I think something that uh, a lot of people can associate with. Um, it's real creepy. Um, it's like a thriller, you know, nothing uh, crazy gory. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, I'm signed on as one of the, uh, main characters, so, um, hopefully we can get that done in between now and, uh, the third season of Outsiders, you know what I mean? Nice. Oh, yeah. We'll be watching yeah. for that. We'll definitely keep our eyes open. Yeah, I mean, it's, so, I mean, like, what do you guys think of the season so far? Oh, man. It's amazing. Nah, it's we, amazing. Yeah. We We're not finished, even kidding. We just finished our episode of, uh, Talking Outside for episode six there, and god damn. Yeah, there's a yeah. Um, uh, we used to watch The Walking Dead. We don't watch that anymore. <laughs> the Outsiders, the, whoever's writing the Outsider show, is amazing. Amazing. There's a, there, there's, a, there's a couple different ones, and you know what the the cool part is the the creator he uh, he gave us a little bit of uh, stretch and a little bit of length with our characters once we established them. So you know he gave us uh, a lot of room to grow. Oh yeah. And, uh, the directors are really cool. You know, you get a new one every now and then. But uh, I'd say my fave is uh, John Emil. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's just been you know it's 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 an education to work with you know amazingly talented people. I'm I'm not even talking about like you know the actors and the directors and everybody like that and then the cameramen, cinematography people. They're amazing. Uh, the the directors, the writers, they're awesome. But you know, you got these hardworking grips, these union guys who just kill it all day long. And um, I'm just going to give a shout-out to the Iron oh, City Grips in Pittsburgh, PA. They kick butt, man. They do the jobs right. And, oh, yeah. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they, they shine. They're really good They're really good people. And uh, it's, it's always good to go back to Pittsburgh and work with uh, people I've been working with since I was about, like, you know, 18 on Dogma. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was an uh, extra on the set, so I was up on the mountain a couple oh, cool. times. And it was just... I was blown away by how nice everybody was, and like you said, like the ex, like all the people doing all the work in the background. God damn! Yeah. Like we ate like kings. We mm-hmm. ate good. They didn't work us too hard. I mean, I, yeah. there's nothing more I can say. It was amazing. Well, but you, I'm saying, man, you guys know how 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 bad that heat was in Pittsburgh. Oh my! In the summer. <laughs> you know some of those uh, some of those shots we did in the um, for the fight clip for the fight scenes were. Uh, it was about like you know fifty to seventy extras, maybe a hundred almost, and uh, it was in an old sawmill in the middle of the day, and eighty-five degrees Jeez. in Pittsburgh with that humidity, it was it was a little bit beastly. 
Oh, so I mean, they'd have to they'd have to let us out every you know half hour. <laughs> I remember all of us being crammed in the bar, and there was like two hundred of us stuffed in there. Yep, unreal. Yep. And then uh, what the hell's I gonna say? I'm, I'm drinking. It happens. It's uh, fine. I understand. And we apologize if this is the worst interview you've ever done. We don't know what no, we're doing. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, we appreciate fine, your time. Yeah. And we you just happen fine. to be a little starstruck. Got to be honest. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I didn't understand that. all the. I didn't understand all the movies you were in at first. No, hey man, tell it to me. Tell it to my wife. Um, <laughs> so I don't have to repair the refrigerator. Oh yeah, <laughs> he shouldn't be doing stuff like no, that. No, definitely not. He needs to be working on his. <laughs> all right, too man. You know, my 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 grandfather. He was a uh, he was a marine and a carpenter, and he had a hammer and a nail in my hand when I was like a little kid. So I know how to fix a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. I worked in I worked in every position in the food service industry. I, I did construction and demolition in New York when I was there. So yeah, I can I can work. Oh yeah, You're well well rounded. Oh yeah, yeah. I try, <laughs> man. Well, as an actor, you know, you have to work in the food and service industry. I think it's like a, you know, right of initiation or something. <laughs> you gotta pay your dues. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much, man. You know. All right. Well, you got anything else, Jim Bob? Nah, I'm, I'm not good at interviewing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's on, all the questions hey, I got. Any- you got. You got. You guys got to find me some of that feral shine, man, because I've been looking around to CA for it, and I have not been able to find it. You talking um, about the stuff that uh, that uh, Old Smokey released? Yeah, yeah, Old Smokey's good, man. They uh, they they uh, they got some good products, but um, yeah, I, I was there, there's a couple shops close to me. I was looking for it just to have a souvenir. I got some from the premiere here at the Palais Center, but uh. You know, they're the little jars on, like the big ones. Like, well, what you got right there. I'll tell you what. I ordered three bottles of it. It hasn't come in yet. And they said I might not get it. If I get, you see what I'm saying? If I get one, I will send that shit right to you. Oh, I yeah. I appreciate it, man. And I'll send, I'll send you a little something, too, okay? Nice. Nice. We like to hear that. Oh, we like gifts. <laughs> oh, we love gifts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Well, if there's anything you want to say, anything you got to plug? Hey, any shout outs? Hey, well, you know, I just wanted to shout out to uh, the amazing, uh, you know, team on Outsiders. Uh, I want to shout out to my lovely wife, um, Ashley, uh, and I want to shout out to um, also someone who does uh, a little bit of my jewelry stuff, um, Justine Cullen. Um, she's got a, a great web page. She did my wedding ring, nice. and um, yeah, she's amazing. She's out of uh, London. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's that, you know, and Sony and Paul Giamatti and all the producers and all the great people I've uh, had the blessing to work with, you know, on the show, so. Oh, right you know, on. That's, uh, that's basically it, yeah. And, and when does the show come on? comes on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock. Everybody out there, watch it Tuesdays, 9 o'clock. Yep. See this man, this artist, this beautiful <laughs> person. I think he's hitting on you. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not. Uh, yeah. Jesus. Well, I mean, if I ever go through the sex change the whole way, I might give you a little ring of Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? You know what? It, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. That's true. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I, <laughs> I think we might be having a love connection. We here. might. We might. I might be in love with a man. That's all. It's all right. It happens. <laughs> Oh, no. You guys are great. It was, it was really nice talking with you. Thank guys. you very oh, no. much. Thank you very much. We mm-hmm. really appreciate it. Thank you. Any, you anytime you want to get Hey, and uh, you, got, you guys got to send me a connection to this, okay? So I can uh, post it on my uh, fan page. Oh, okay. we will. Most definitely. We will. Cool. All Thanks right. for talking. Have a good night. You hey, too. Hey, hey, hey uh, stay warm. I'm going to give you one one last view of some sunshine. All right. Oh, thanks. Man. Uh, oh, man. That's what we're going to look forward to. <laughs> you Someday. take it easy. Uh, you have a good night. See you later, right, guys. See you later. And there it was. Wow. An interview with Baird Hackney. Now, God. I respected this man before we talked to him, but after talking to him, I respect him times oh, 800. Man. He is a man amongst men. Now, uh, you might have seen me, uh, uh, my panties in a bunch there. I was a little bit nervous. And I, I, got, I got a little choked up myself. I did. God damn. I did. Um, I still feel a little funny. I do, too. Man. I mean, I got to say, this guy, he's real humble. He's in a place that he doesn't have to be humble. But That's he's, right. He, uh, thanking them grips and all them. I, I just couldn't say more nice things about this guy. You definitely want to check out Outsiders. 
You want to look up his name on... Uh, Tuesdays at 9 o'clock. Yeah, you want to check out his other movies. Look him up on IMDb. That's right. Show him some love. And uh, forgive us for being terrible Man, interviewers. Hey, shit, we're bad at this. We are really bad at this. Yeah, maybe we'll get better. Maybe. Hell, I don't know. Hopefully give people give us chances like he did. That's right. Well, remember, Tuesdays at 9 o'clock on... Uh, what the hell station is that? WPN? It's WPN, I think. Um, Where the hell? Let me, I'm going to look this up real quick on my phone. Yeah, you guys got to definitely check this show um, out. Um, uh, Come on, hurry up, you damn piece of shit. I track. imagine you are already. Outsiders. Come on. My phone's moving slow. Come on, you bastard. That is the most nerve-wracking thing I ever did. I had more questions than that, but I got scared a little bit. WGN. Outsiders oh. WGN. WGN. That's what station it's on. That's right. See? Nine o'clock's on Tuesdays. Now, episode seven is coming up next Tuesday. What the hell's the date? Right. And if you miss it you're and you're not watching this show, Damn date now. you don't know what you're missing. Uh, let's see. What Tuesday? Uh, seventh. March 7th, 9 o'clock. It's Outsiders. Outsiders WGN. WGN. God damn. I'm a little drunk. I got a little nervous interviewing the man. I had to take a couple drinks. Oh yeah. I'm just. Uh, he said some inspiring things too. It's kind of. I'm gonna write that quote on my my refrigerator. It's not a bad quote. Never. Ne I wonder how many nevers are in there. Never, 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 never give up. Probably twelve. And that was Winston Churchill. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna write that down. More nevers, better it would be. I should write that down. But uh, All thank, right. thank you for the interview. Thank, thank you, you guys much. for watching. That's right. We hope you enjoyed it. Wow. <sighs> I mean, I, I I don't. Johnny Depp came to our concert that one time. It and didn't even phase like me. <laughs> nothing like that. I mean, I'm starstruck. Uh, I'm gonna go drink some more. I gotta relax. All yes. right. All right. See you guys later.